Boom shakalaka, no one is seeing this for Bitcoin. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including no one seeing this for Bitcoin, plus a lot of other interesting charts you need to see and an insane Bitcoin price prediction. Before we get into it, guys, like the video, come join us on Twitter through Crypto Love and subscribe to the OG Bitcoin and Crypto YouTube channel, making daily videos since 2017. OMG. Does this guy ever sleep? Now, today, fear and greed index at 72 sideways for the past week, but up from last month's fear in 40. The overall market up 1% today. Bitcoin is 68 to 11. Ethereum at 32.70 and Solana at 185. Now, Bitcoin still sitting in this bull flag, but just barely right on the cusp of it. I know it's hard to see right now because these white lines are what happened the last time the blue line broke above the yellow line, all six times, price went up anywhere from roughly $74 to $112,000. So, could be headed north for Bitcoin, but first we have to break the trend line resistance right here, also previous all-time high resistance, in order to get to those levels. And as this happens, there's a lot of liquidation going on in the cusp of things, liquidity levels, keep in mind that sellers and liquidations will be exhausted at some point, especially with the large scale buyers that we have nowadays. Eventually, price will start moving up and not just be whipsawing around due to liquidation is going on like we see historically in the past. We do see as Bitcoin price is increasing towards $70,000, there are some large liquidation levels right here short squeeze zone should we continue going up in price we could potentially blow through previous all-time highs if we don't meet resistance at those levels another illustration of that chart comparing it with previous cycles 2016 and 2020 is that was the short squeeze zone before price took off. Now, maybe not so much in 2016 because they really didn't trade shorts back then, but definitely here in 2020, Bitcoin is about to go big time soon. Still in doubt? Well, just hang on because we could have a very impressive end of the year for Bitcoin nearing exhaustion, retest, and then take off once we blow through that short squeeze zone. Bitcoin very much is echoing what we saw in 2017 when we had a very nice 20x blow off top from this point, little consolidation at previous all time highs, and then price took off. Take a look at these numbers here. Should Bitcoin go there? I think everyone will be pretty darn happy with that price. As of this week, the past couple days, Bitcoin has reclaimed the bull market support bands. It turns out that was just a fake out to the downside recently breaking below its bull market support bands. This means that the price has turned these bands back into support and looks ready to move higher. The last time this happened, back here in October of last year, Bitcoin went up by 171%. Could we have the same thing, a doubling of Bitcoin price or more? Let's hope so. This chart, though, is one you should put in the back of your mind. Unpopular opinion. But Bitcoin will never go under $56,000 again. That would be super cool, especially in a bear market for it never to go below $56,000. But Bitcoin's weekly order block has printed, suggested institutional order block is here, and will not likely go under it in a bull market. As you can see happen back here with the roughly $20,000 and with the roughly $30,000 now with $50,000, same thing once again. Well, let's hope price never goes below those levels. Right now we have a nice inverted head and shoulders set up. You can see the left shoulder right here, the head right here, the right shoulder forming right now. Should it break $70,000? Well, based on the depth of the head, that could push it up towards $80,000 or more. We also have a bullish cross of the three-day MACD for Bitcoin. This has been a strong upward momentum indicator for Bitcoin. Last time this happened, price went from $40,000 to $70,000, doubling. Wow. Could we be headed there as well? Well, we also have a tight daily bull flag suggesting a $74,000 price target like can be seen right here. And we also have an even bigger price target right here with this bullish megaphone price target of $88,000. So all of these suggesting that once we break this resistance showing at the very beginning of the video right here, once we break this resistance, it is likely all up territory and it could happen very, very quickly based on the number of shorts that we saw, where was it? Here, 
because of these that could push price up very very quickly and that's just an intermediate price target because from what i've been told michael saylor was talking at the bitcoin conference down in nashville and price predictions by 2045 the base case which would be the average case with bitcoin being seven percent of assets would be a 13 million dollar bitcoin goodness if you want to be a bitcoin millionaire you would only need to own 0.1 btc holy freaking cow but the bear case because there are lots of bears out there two percent of total assets being a three million dollar bitcoin which means you would only need to own a third of a bitcoin to be a bitcoin millionaire or the bull case which is for me and all the other perma bulls out there if bitcoin becomes 22 percent of assets which hey that could be pretty far out there but why not i mean fiat money could be dying well that would be a 50 million dollar bitcoin which means you would need to own 0.02 a bitcoin to be a bitcoin millionaire holy freaking cow bring it on can't wait let's see what happens so that's all for this episode if you enjoyed it like the video come join us on twitter the good love subscribe to the channel and youtube believes you'll enjoy that video right there so check it out i'll catch you later have a good one love you peace if you don't think bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then 10 million dollars a coin you're already a loser from now on if you don't own bitcoin you're a moron